boxes, it's Shiguro Studios. And today we're gonna be doing a Collecta unboxing. So I got these lovely Collecta horses from eBay and they were like pretty, they were like used condition. And I was like, yay, perfect for repaints because I feel like Schleich lots are so much more common than Collecta lots. And I really have been liking Collecta horses a lot recently. So the super annoying thing is that I was supposed to get like another one of the auctions cause they split them up into different auctions and i was bidding on like five different ones and I, they were gonna like combine the shipping obviously and it was so annoying because i only won three of them and i was so annoyed because of like oh but it's okay i guess so let's open the box oh they have them packaged all nicely i love when they do this because first of all less scratches and then second of all i get to use all the bubble wrap for sending my customs which is like great because yeah okay Oh, and I didn't put so much tape on them. I love, so perfect. Okay, so we have the Lipizzaner Stallion. I just did a custom on this one actually, and I loved it. So we should definitely do another one. He is so cute. I don't know, for some reason, this model really reminds me of a guinea pig. I don't know why, but he's is, is so cute. And he's like, all this bubble wrap love 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 this is the palomino stallion maybe stallion tennessee walking T tennessee walking horse i don't have this model i've never had this model so very cool to have it finally very pretty and very just overall cute the shading is kind of weird kind of looks really golden and metallic-y. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but I got these for repainting, so it doesn't really make a difference anyway. More bubble wrap. These two I don't have. So this is the Arabian Mare, the gray version. And her tail is so, so cute. She's like so sad. She's like, and see, her tail is like that. And... I don't know. These are I don't I don't think you can get these ones um in some stores. Like some online stores don't have them. Like they're not currently in the catalog, I don't think. And this one I love the color. So it's the same model. Really adorable. It's got like a bunch of dust on it though, so either gonna have to wash that off or just paint. But she's so pretty. And this, I have this model already, I really like it. This is the thoroughbred mare. She's just so flashy and just pretty. Um, definitely gonna do a repaint on her because I have this model already, but I love this one. She's just like, and, and just in collective models in general, just the amount of detail they pack into like a little horse is just mind blowing. They're just so beautiful. All right, and then last up we have the Andalusian? Andalusian Stallion. And I'm pretty sure I have this horse in a different color. I think. Yeah, but I think this one comes in a few different colors. It's like a dark bay. He's so cute. Um, yeah. And I get this question a lot, but like Schleicher are just a little bit smaller for the most part. Like some Schleich models are around the same size. And some collector horses are bigger, some are smaller. The scale like varies a lot. I do have a collector versus like comparison video that you guys should check out if you are interested in that. All right, so this is the Andalusian Stallion. This is the Thoroughbred Mare. This is the Lipizzaner Stallion. This is the White Arabian Mare or Gray Arabian Mare. And then this flax and chestnut Arabian mare. This is the Tennessee Walker stallion. All right, roses, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also check out my website if you're interested in getting any custom model horses. And I also have tack riders and tons of other stuff for sale on my website as well. And the link for that will be in the description. And don't forget to stay sweet. Mwah.